firsthand. I would recommend, especially first-time home buyers, to sit down and make a budget. Um, don't make hasty decisions. Make sure you have weighed things out. In the market for a home, you're not alone. Good evening, everyone. Happy New Year. Stephanie is off. With interest rates hovering around 4%, now might be the time to pursue the American dream or refinance. Valley News Team Giovanna Simic caught up with a local realtor and got a look at how the housing market is changing. Puna Amores from Advantage Realtors. How can I help you? This is a typical call for Otis as the demand for more home sales in the FM area has gone up. A strong economy and booming population have increased the need for housing. Not to mention the interest is at a great rate. It's pretty desirable interest rate. It's pretty low. Um, it could go up and most of the home buyers are really smart nowadays and they are aware of it. Um, they want to take advantage of low interest rate. It's not just interest rates. Borrowing costs are well below historic average of 6%. But the average price of a 2015 home has shot up almost 10%. Looking at the trend in housing market, house prices are going up. And it's gone up significantly in the last few years. Even though home prices have gone up, the market has been hot for home sales. 2015 year has been brilliant for us. And I believe the trend is going to continue in 2016 and our housing market is going to stay strong and steady. So if you're looking to buy a home, Otis has this advice. Buying a home is a strong commitment. If you're ready for it, your credit allows it, your pocket allows it, please take advantage of it. This is the time. Interest rates are good. Um, economy is really strong. That way, you can have your dream home without breaking the bank. Yovana Simic, Valley News Live. Planning is key for buying a home, so make sure you sit down and you make a budget. And if you are, you are a buying a home for the first time, you're advised to ask about the first-time home buyer programs. An East Grand Forks man who was seriously injured in an assault outside a Crookston bar has died. That according to a friend of the family. 36-year-old John Torres was on life support at All True Hospital in connection with the Christmas Day assault outside Captain Crook's bar. The last word from authorities is that there have been no arrests in this case. People who own lake homes in Minnesota as their second home could be getting a 20% property tax break. Some Minnesota lawmakers are proposing the tax break to lift some of the financial burden off seasonal homeowners. Local lawmaker Jeff Peltier says it's unfair. Peltier says that they, uh, a lot of Minnesota, non-Minnesota residents pay taxes but don't have a vote in saying how they're used. Lake property owner and Minnesota representative Paul Marquardt is strongly against the tax cut proposal. If we can lower property taxes for everyone, that's great. I strongly support that. But we can't set a priority where we're putting cabin owners ahead of farmers who have seen huge property tax increases of late and homeowners, senior citizens and families. Uh, it's just not right to um, you know, give cabin owners a property tax uh, break first. Marquardt adds he doesn't think it'll pass unless homeowners get a tax break as well. The idea will be discussed in March. Still no arrests from yesterday's robbery outside of Casey's General Store on Cheyenne Street in West Fargo. Police are searching for this man and woman who allegedly took a man's cell phone and drove away in a red extended cab Chevrolet pickup. The victim told police the woman asked to use his cell phone and then a man asked for change to break a $50 bill. That's when he noticed the man had a handgun. Then the male suspect demanded the female to get into the car with him and they took off. Authorities say they have received a few tips. If you have any information, contact police. It's Friday, so it's time to take a look at this week's Valley's Most Wanted. Police say 41-year-old Alonzo Gray is wanted for probation violation and criminal conspiracy. Call your local law enforcement if you have any information on Gray's whereabouts. After Monday, the next time you call a cab in Fargo could wind up costing you more. A local company says it's asking to raise its rates to compete. It's one of several issues that Fargo City Commissioners will tackle on Monday. Valley News Team's Krista Bame joins us to explain. Krista? Mike, that cost for a cab could come extra before you even get inside with Lucky 7 Taxi Service. The business is asking the commission to raise rates because it says the way it is now, their drivers can't make it. 
The cap company says the cost of living increases and the abundance of companies in Fargo is what's causing the hike, one they haven't changed since 2008. Also, an ordinance that would allow alcohol to be served in Marcus theaters faces its first reading. The idea of having a beer while you sit back and enjoy a movie doesn't seem to sit well with some commissioners. Both Dave Pepcorn and Melissa Sobolik have voiced their concerns, questioning if it's the right fit for Fargo and just how it would be handled in such a large family-oriented environment. Even though I'm a parent and sometimes I wish I would have a drink when Barney is on, uh, sometimes you just have to suck it up and go to a kid's movie and not have alcohol. Commissioner Mike Williams has said he's not thrilled about the idea either, but would like more discussion. Another major discussion is expected on the proposal to give Fargo City workers a day off on Martin Luther King Jr. Day. It failed on a 2-2 vote tie in December, but Commissioner Sobolik wasn't at the meeting and wants to bring it back up. Mayor Tim Mahoney supports the idea along with Williams, while Pepcorn and Tony Gehrig voted no. Mike? Thanks, Chris. To stick with Valley News Live and ValleyNewsLive.com for updates on these stories. If you're looking to renew a license plate tab in Minnesota, you'll now need to bring some extra paperwork with you. Starting today, the state of Minnesota requires proof of insurance to get new tabs or register a vehicle. It's one way the state's trying to cut down on the number of insured driver, uninsured drivers in Minnesota. It was previously just a question on state forms. The elimination of the oil tax trigger is effective starting today in North Dakota. The legislation would have cost the state millions of dollars a month, but instead is saving millions per month, helping fund water projects, the Legacy Fund, and Education Fund. This new piece of legislation is a lower extraction tax rate. North Dakota State Tax Commissioner Ryan Roschenberger says the top rate is 10 percent if we're at $90 and about uh, for three consecutive months in oil prices. Roschenberger also says this high price trigger will provide a buffer for state infrastructure. The first baby born in Fargo this year came a week early. Connor Allen Hegerberg is the son of Cody Hegerberg and Rachel Onsgaard. He was born at Sanford at 12.07 this morning. He weighed in at 7 pounds, 6 ounces. When I was in labor, I just didn't want to think of, like, New Year's, you know, because I'm like, I just want to have this baby, you know. Like, they're like, just wait, you can wait 15 more minutes. Like, if I want to push, I want to push. I'm just going to forget it's just the New Year's, you know, and yeah. watch the ball drop and everything. <laughs> Congratulations. Connor has a brother and a sister who are waiting at home for their new little brother. And remember to like Valley News Live on Facebook. You can follow the latest news, weather, and breaking news updates anytime on your feed. Just search Valley News Live, like our page, and you'll stay informed throughout the entire day.